How's it going guys? We are back with another video here. Now, the big thing is of course, NHL 21 officially, officially releases it for the Deluxe and Great 8 Edition owners tonight at 12 a.m. Eastern Time. So that's gonna be unbelievable. You guys can finally have no more trial time. None of that, oh, I gotta be careful my hours. I only have 30 minutes left, I have 20 minutes left. No more of that. Uh, and it's finally going to end. You guys will have the full game. So it's very important for me to really help you guys out. When you first start Hockey Ultimate Team, really, when there's no hours like limit, and just in general, when you have the game fully, how you want to start your hot team, how you're going to be able to earn rewards, earn cards, get a really stacked team, without spending money. Because you don't need to spend money. That's the key. Yes, I've spent money on NHL 21 just because, all right, obviously I'm gonna, I'm creating content, I'm making packs, and it's for you guys, for your entertainment uh, at the end of the day. But for those who, you know, you buy the game and that's all you spend on the game the whole year is a $60 or $80 if you're in Canada or $100 if you get the exclusive offers. Basically, I'm gonna go through everything that can make you successful in Hockey Ultimate Team, especially at the beginning, of course, because the beginning, I think it's actually pretty easy to get it going, all right? So, First things first, all right? So what you want to do is uh, go over to the sets, or actually the challenges section right here. Uh, again, this is something that you want to make sure you uh, have the opportunity to do because it's still out for another three days. So I mean, again, this is definitely possible to still do. Uh, and uh, what you want to do is take advantage of this. If they're going to give you free challenges like this, right here, I did all of them already, seven of seven. So basically what you do is, you know, you, you go through all these. Some of them, yeah, they can be a little difficult, but it's uh, fairly easy. It's fairly easy. So you get your EA Play collectibles. And you keep doing that. You get coins along the way. You get a two goal players pack. You never know what's in that. You can really get something good. You could be make David for all you know. Uh, and then you go through all those challenges. You get those six collectibles. And then what you want to do is, of course, go to your sets section right here. Uh, right here, you're going to go to sets. And uh, go to the EA Play sets. And trade in your six for a premium players pack. And you'll get some solid goal players. You'll get some solid goal players. Premium, premium uh, players packs are decent. I believe you're guaranteed 280 plus overall. They're all gold, so uh, it's it's a good pack. And you'll get some solid players to really help out your team early on. At the beginning of this game, you don't really need to have a crazy team. I mean, yeah, some people are gonna have juice teams because people spend thousands or just you know hundreds. Of course, uh, it's it's pretty ridiculous. But again, you don't really need to do that. So just take advantage of what they give you. Challenges obviously are very very beneficial. Uh, I would definitely recommend doing these right away. I just would. I think it's very very helpful. Uh, so take advantage of what they're giving you. That's what I always like to say. The same thing last year. All right. So uh, also the tip sets is also not, also another way to earn rewards pretty easily. So if you go over to Hunt Central, go to the objectives. You go down to tutorial. Uh, actually, you get even more packs. So you learn about squad Hunt squad battles. Literally, all you have to do is just press A, and it'll just show you the info and skip the info. You don't even need to read it or do anything. You literally just have to, it, the pop-up needs to come up on the screen to earn the rewards. So it's fairly, fairly easy. Uh, so you do all that. You get a captain card, goalie mask, celebration, the sets collectible, more coins, alternate captain, a bronze coach, 100 coins, 100 coins. Then you get the mini pack finally, and then eventually uh, you have enough collectibles that you're able to trade it in to uh, make... Make the set, of course, which is very, very good as well to really get yourself started. You, know, you go over to the, the tips section right here, and uh, you're able to trade it in for the reward, whatever. Your jersey is fine. Then you eventually get a player's pack. So, I mean, any player pack is good early on. It really is because you just don't know what you're going to get in that. And, and even an 82 is, is very beneficial. It really is at the start of the year. It's very, very beneficial. And uh, you want to take advantage of what they're giving you, as I've always said. Okay? So... That is that. Uh, another thing, of course, this is for more, mostly the month, but a monthly reward set, of course. Uh, take advantage of this. I mean, sign in every day of the game. Do your daily challenges because uh, you can turn that into an icon or a goal collectible. I think early on, icon collectibles are more essential because uh, if you get the icon collectible, you can literally make an 85 by the beginning of next month, and that's 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 very beneficial for someone that's free to play as well. You're not. You know, you're not going to have all these uh, collectibles lying around because you don't have thousands of gold players or hundreds of gold players. Uh, so I think it's very good. Or even or even if you did the 83 to 85 choice pack for 25 collectibles, that could be pretty solid at first. Maybe you get a Taylor Hall 85. You don't know. I mean, 
there's many ways to really get yourself started, and, and I think the collectible is very essential here as well. You want to make sure you sign it every day and uh, do your dailies. Uh, so that's that's that right there. All right. So now moving on to more. I have my uh, speaking of it, my free pack right here for signing in every 24 hours. Let me just open this right here. Boom, boom, boom. Some coins and the collectible. Don't mind if I do. All right. So here's the other thing now. So you see online. Okay. So. Hot Rivals can be a little scary, I'm not going to lie. Early on, it can be a little scary. Right now, it's very, very uh, daunting due to the fact that a lot of top players, a lot of just really, really good players are playing Rivals in very sweaty mode right now. So, I would probably recommend to you guys uh, to play the more casual and more, to me, more fun mode, and that would be Hot Rush right now. So, uh, right now, they have an EA play season going on. We don't know exactly how long and how good the rewards are going to be uh, going forward, but, but... Let me tell you one thing right now. Absolutely love, 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 love uh, the rewards they have right now. It's very, very, very good uh, for just getting started. So, so right now there's a, they have the Matthews Hattrick Showdown and the Ovechkin One Timer Challenge. So it's fun. You have certain things you have to do Ovechkin's One Timers, and uh, you know certain ways you have to score, certain deeks you have to pull off, uh, and there's different uh, rules. And same thing for the Matthews. It's very, very fun. So this one's just, this is outside too. I like it. I think I think it's a very fun thing. It's it's very casual, but it's quick, fun. Not like you're going to be raging, I don't think. I mean, it's, it, you go at your own pace. You're going to win. You're going to get your rewards at some point, And it's just fun. You know, that's what's really good about it. Uh, the rewards right here. I did it, of course. I got 1,200, 1,200, sorry. A million, 200,000, 292 points. Uh, and I did all of them right there. Getting my max reward which are the mini players pack, but we don't know the exact rewards uh, that, that's going to be coming out for this. We just don't. But it was solid rewards. You know, you get your gold players along the way, a premium pack, four gold players. And again, like coins, you are just getting gold players, E2 choice pack. Like that's solid early on to have on your team. It really, really is. So, I mean, if you're just getting the game now, take advantage of it. Uh, it's very, very, very important to play. I mean, it really is. It will be very, very beneficial. To, you know, help them get your uh, your squad started. I really, truly believe that. So, Rivals is fun. Rivals, sorry. Rush is fun. Uh, and uh, I definitely think you guys should play if you're just trying to get your team started. I really do. All right, so let's go back to Hut. A few more things I have to say before we really move on here. Uh, but that's my, to me, that's the first thing you probably should do uh, when it comes to actually like playing the game online or, off, or, or offline. Uh, then... Speaking of offline, go back to offline. Squad battles is very, very good to play at first uh, because it's pretty easy reward just playing against the AI. Right now I'm an Elite 2. I'm going to try to get to Elite 1 at least, maybe top 100, but definitely uh, Elite 1 is where I want to at least get to with three mega packs and uh, those three player packs plus a 17k, which is very beneficial. Uh, rival, uh, sorry, squad battles actually ends on Wednesdays now, actually, at 5, so make sure you do all these things by Wednesday and, uh, yeah, you'll have a good time, but... It's very, very uh, good, these rewards, early on. Getting at least Elite 3 is pretty good because you get the Mega Pack, 3 Premium Player Packs, and 14K. Uh, that is good if you get that every week. That is very good. It doesn't really take that much. probably takes about maybe 10 games a week, and that's that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. So uh, I think Squad Battles is very, very beneficial. Truly, I do. Uh, so that's Squad Battles right there. And then we have the good old Hut rivals okay so right now i'm in d2 with 2080 points uh the weekly rewards are the same thing it ends on tuesdays actually you'll get your rewards on wednesday and uh yeah we, sh we think we think i mean I i'm just going based on last year because squad battles it would end on thursday you get the rewards on friday rivals would end on tuesday you get the rewards on wednesday so we'll see so maybe squad battles might be on thursday you get the rewards just don't know yet we just don't know uh but here we go I'm in D2, the rewards are pretty stacked right now, I don't know if it's a bug or what, but right now these are exactly the same rewards, the diamond pack, uh, diamonds are uh, ultimate packs, and uh, 72k, if you take the coins for D2, you take 90k as well for the ultimate uh, one, but right now for some reason I'm not earning points, I believe there's a, a cap at least for the EA play trial that you're not able to earn more points, so that could be exactly what it is, I'm not sure, but it's good rewards, I mean I'm in D2 right now. Even if I got Platinum, I get a Jumbo Elite Players Pack. I'm assuming it's supposed to be two, because, I mean, it wouldn't make any sense to have the same exact reward option. Literally, it would be no difference. So, has to be a bug. You got to thank uh, for that. But, 
other than that, I mean, there's really, you know, there's, those are most of them. Again, this is a free-to-play way. Simply, if you guys want to get a quicker way to start your team, you go over to the store, and you click on that purchase NHL point section, and you press the 12,000. That's if you really want to get your team even started faster, but trust me, you don't have to spend money. You really don't. I always say it. NHL 19, I spent $20 in the whole year. The whole year, and at, at Team of the Year, I had 8 million coins. So you just simply don't need to spend money. Uh, also, open this EA Play Starter Pack if you, if you can, of course, because, I mean, it's very... Very beneficial to do that, just to start off and get some free cards. I can't argue that. And, and again, just do your objective, do your sets, of course, to uh, do your milestones. I mean, like right now, I got my daily packs. Let me see what I got. I got a mini pack, actually, for that. So, quick little pack opening right now for the stream, for the for the video, why not? Uh, so, we'll, we'll take that, you know, we'll take that. Five items, one player. You never know, you never know. Let's see what we got here. Eerie Otters. Joel Uncles, that's kind of a, a cool card, but other than that... Zetterlin, Devil's Prospect, you love to see it. But that is that, guys. That is the best way to get started in NHL 21 Hockey Ultimate Team. I hope, I hope, I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, leave a like, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, you'll follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Join my Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. And as always, guys, appreciate you all very much for watching. See you in the next video. More content on the way.